Hi there everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Kendra and today I'm gonna try something I have never tried before. Before I tell you about that, I need to tell you this is an open collaboration hosted by Maniac Grammy's Homestead. If you'd like to get in on this, you just do something in the kitchen on Saturday and that can be talk about your favorite cookbook and one of the recipes within, maybe organizing your silverware drawer, making a recipe, um, organizing your refrigerator, anything. Mix it up in the kitchen, says she, our host, Maniac Grammy's Homestead. So we upload every Saturday if you want to do it. And um, what are you doing? Everybody's invited. Tomorrow's Sunday. No, wait, I was going to say today is Saturday. And I want to tell you that I am going to do two videos today. You may not be interested in the second one unless you're into dolls. But I've become into dolls, and I'm going to be talking about one of my babies. And um, it's a collaboration. So anyway, let me get to what I'm going to do today, this morning. We have, oh, here, let me go with this first. We have puff pastry. Now, this is a recipe I've never done before. I have used puff pastry many, many times, but I've never done this. There isn't a recipe for this. I mean, there could be, and I don't know about it. I'm just making cinnamon rolls. My cinnamon rolls will have chopped pecans, about yay much. That's maybe half a cup. I'm going to put melted butter, and this is just salted regular butter. There you go. There's my pecans that I used. Of course, the puff pastry. I'm going to use both um, halves. I put cinnamon and sugar together and made cinnamon sugar. And then I've also got here some dark brown sugar. So there'll be granulated white sugar with cinnamon and dark brown sugar in this. <sighs> Here's hoping. I don't see how it can be bad, <laughs> but I may prove myself wrong. So the first thing I think I need to do is put away this three by five card and see about opening up this puff pastry. I'll show you what it looks like inside in case you've never used it. I use the Pepperidge Farm brand. I love it best comes with two sheets and they're ready to bake. You just gotta take them out of your freezer and open them up. I like to use this flour when I'm baking for um, when you grease and flour a pan, for when you flour a cutting board, whatever. If you watched a few days ago, I dropped it from the highest shelf and I busted the bottom of the can so it's, um, it's no longer sealed. But I don't wanna throw it away and I can still use it so I put it in a Ziploc plastic bag and stuck it back up in my cupboard. I'm about to use it. If you use the Pepperidge Farm puff sheet pastry, you're going to get two of these long rectangles and you need to unfold it after it's thawed because you keep it in the freezer. You remove the long strips of paper, don't leave that in there. Now you've got your one rectangle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a rolling pin and I'm going to roll this out a little bit so it's a little bit thinner and longer. All right, I took my dough and a rolling pin and I rolled it just a little bit thinner and it also seals the cracks where it's folded if there's any crackage. And I melted some butter, it's not hot, it's just melted. All right, I spread just some butter all over it so it's nice and done. And now I'm going to put on some brown sugar with my hand, I'm not gonna measure it. So that was just a small handful and I tried to break up clumps and you know, just spread it as best I could with my fingers. Now I'm gonna take white sugar and cinnamon, and this is heavy on the cinnamon, more than I use for cinnamon toast, but I wanted more, you know, cinnamon flavor. Cinnamon sugar has been applied, and now I'm gonna crack some nuts into little pieces. Maybe I'll get a knife, it'll take less time. I used a knife to chop up those nuts. You saw how much, and that's, there they are. Now I'm gonna roll this like a cinnamon roll. And this is not a recipe, I'm telling you. I made this up in my head, hoping it'll work and actually look and taste and feel like cinnamon rolls, but with puff pastry. So we will see. All right, so it's long and thin, and I probably could have done more layers, and I probably should have done more layers, but this is my first try. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, cut it in the middle and then cut the middles in the middle and try to make all of the pieces even now. 
I forgot to say, I got a cutting board because I don't know if you should cut on these Silpat things. I don't think so. And I've got a long, big baking dish. My oven's at 375 with parchment so nothing sticks to it. Got the second piece down. It made eight rolls, so we'll have 16 all together if this one does the same. I'm gonna open the paper out now. Put more flour on the silpat, even though it's supposed to be nonstick, I still did it. And I chopped up more cons, and now I'm gonna go back and do the same thing I just did. This is already starting to harden, so it'll be easier to use this way. I can see exactly where it is. I'm gonna, oh, first I have to roll it out. <laughs> I almost forgot that part. Butter applied, and I rolled it out more. Now comes the, I think I did brown sugar first. Okay, brown sugar, cinnamon and granulated sugar, butter and chopped pecans all over. Now I'm gonna roll it from this end across. So I'm gonna come to this end over here and just start doing that. Now, if this works, it's so much easier than doing it from scratch with pastry dough. You know, regular pastry dough. Although they are pretty good when you do them the old-fashioned way. We'll just have to see. There'll be a taste test. All right, I think I did get more layers. Well, you can really see how this is softening. These are my fingerprints because I closed up the edges a little bit on the end. Okay, I'm going to cut them up now. There we go, eight. So I'll bring the pan back over here and put these on the other side. I took the butter that was left on the brush and along the sides and everything, and I added a tablespoon of honey, and I'm going to drizzle that on the inside, not the outside, hoping that it'll give it some sweet. It looks like some of them want to come open, like I should have sealed each one maybe, but I didn't. But it's too late now. They're getting warmer by the minute, and they're going to not cook right. So I'm just put, I, not 375, 400. And I'm going to look at it in five minutes and see what it looks like and go from there. Okay. Now, there's a recipe on the back of this box for spinach cheese swirls. Yum. That's got to be good. And it says you can bake for 15 minutes, but this is sweet, and sweet tends to do different than savory. We'll see. So the um, rolls are in there cooking. They have about four more minutes left, and I thought I'd show you this. One of the kids, my youngest, went uh, salmon, ship salmon shipping? Salmon fishing after work yesterday and he got home about eight o'clock in the evening with two big fish and their salmon and they will show you i'll go back and show you a picture of just the fish i'm not allowed to show his face because they're difficult children <laughs> anyway you know he's like 25 or 26 now well he's born he's 24 he was born in uh all right so for this recipe and i was told to but didn't ski out but i could get the ingredients for them they're going to cook this Parmesan cheese, garlic, lemon. They're gonna put it on a bed of linguine that's got some kind of sauce on it. Oh, and parsley, and I'm just soaking that right now so I can get me sand and silt and stuff out of that. And so here's his, you know, he gutted the thing and did all the things. He got some roe. I think he, I don't know what he did with the roe. I've got pictures of that too. And it's like four pounds, it's four fillets. And he was very, very proud of himself when he came home with this. So I just wanted to show you that. And if there's time, I'll show you a picture of a plate tonight. You know, if, if I get to them before they snarf it down. <laughs> I, I'll have some, but it's not my favorite. You know, I, it's okay. I like salmon. I really like my favorite is halibut. Oh, I wish you could fish for halibut. I'm very grateful for this, though. This is like... $45, $50 worth of salmon here. Um, but anyway, I like halibut. I like cod. Love it. I like um, catfish. Love it. You know, like that. I'm not crazy about trout. It's not all about you, Kendra. <laughs> all right, I'm going to put this back in the fridge, this stuff, and wash, finish washing this and getting those rolls out pretty quick. Oh, I'm going to run you some pictures. So you'll see some pictures right after this of them in their whole state. And it occurs to me I didn't flip them over for you. 